All right, Helen here again. Let's get coding. First of all, we're going to go to your browser and type in makecode.microbit.org. That's where we're going to code our robot unicorn. Then click on the basic column and drag across an on start. Then inside that bracket, drag across a show LEDs. You can see that you can click individual LEDs on and off here. This will show on the micro bits LEDs. Drag another one across because we're going to make a little animation. Now, you can do what you like here. You can do a little man walking or a firework, but I've chosen hearts because I like them. Now, I don't want those LEDs to just flash quickly, so I'm going to add in a little pause. I'm going to change that to a thousand milliseconds. Then I'm going to right click to duplicate. That makes a copy. I'm going to pop that underneath a full heart. A thousand milliseconds is one second. Next, we're going to go back to basic and click on a forever bracket. This forever bracket means that what we put inside it repeats forever, hence the name. What we're going to do is use a thing called a loop. So go to loops, drag over, repeat four times. And we're going to change that to twice. And then we're going to put something inside it. We can do things like flash LEDs, show icons, say words, or even play music. But today what we're doing is controlling the servos. Those are on the pins, if you remember from our wiring. So drag over analog right pin. There we go, just like that. And then change the number to 10. That number is controlling the speed at which the servo moves round. We're going to drag over a duplicate of that and change it to pin 1, which is controlling the other servo. And that pin we're going to set at 100. This is going to drive our robot unicorn forward. How long for? Well, here I'm going to change it to three seconds. It's going to drive forward for three seconds. Now what I want to do is make it drive backwards. So what I'm going to do is duplicate both of those analog right pins and then I'm going to switch the number that's controlling the server around. So when 0 is going to be 100 and 1 is going to be 10. I'm also going to duplicate that pause. So it's going to go forward for 3 seconds, then backwards for 3 seconds. Twice, remember, because we've put it in the loop. Now I'm going to show you how to make it go round and round. So we've duplicated that loop, the repeat, two times, and we're changing the first set of right pins to 20, 20, and the second set of, right, of pins to 80, 80. That's going to make it go left in a circle and right in a circle. Now the last thing I want to show you how to do is how to make it stop. So you might have figured this out. We're going to create a right pin 0 and a right pin 1. And we're going to fill in that number box with a zero, which means it's not going to turn at all. We're also going to pop a little pause in there so that it stops for a little while. You can put that at one second in between those. All right, so here we have on start a little heart animation, then a forever loop that goes forwards, backwards, stops, turns left and then turns right. This is a decent little test drive to show you what it's capable of. So what we're going to do now is we are going to download it to our micro bit. If you click on the name, you can put in your little name there and it'll download. We're going to call this the uh, unicorn test drive and then we're going to save it to our computer. I click on another little floppy disk button. That's going to download a file to my computer, which I'm going to open in the Finder window or in the uh, File Explorer if you're using a Windows machine. 
So just click on that there, open it up, and show it in the finder. There we are. And then what I'm going to do is plug in my micro bit using the USB cable. Once that's plugged in and visible, I'll be able to drag that file over to the micro bit. It'll show up just like a USB drive. And that'll be that. It'll just load. Now this code that I've shown you today is just an example of the thing that you can do with your robot unicorn. You can change all sorts of things, from the easy things like the animation, to the directions and the loops that you choose it to go in. Using this basic code, you should try driving it in different shapes, or even through an obstacle course that you make for yourself. You can even figure out a way of making it draw by attaching a pen to it and making it drive over some paper.